a gentle tread, the broken crane, a heavy weight, but just too late, like pretty cake, a sex on late, and death and state, appreciate, depreciate, a fabricate, emulate, a truth dilate, special day, the animal we ate, a guilt to bait, the edge to rape, a better rate, a youth I rate, deliberate, fascinate, <clears throat> hey guys. Hi. 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 How you doing? Good. How are you? How are you, Cheyenne? Great. Doing great. Oh, this kitty. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you a magic show for the end of the world. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are all my favorite people. I'm so glad you're here. Um, it's January. Mm -hmm. And uh, so let's deal with those January post Christmas doldrums and do a magic show. Woo! It's gonna be very interesting. <laughs> Just us. Um, let's see about something. I would like to spotlight my face for all of you. So, um, this is uh, a, the show, the theme tonight is going to revolve around international magic. At least we're gonna, we're gonna take a cursory glance at the notion of international magic. Um, uh, a question magicians often get is, does magic look different in other countries? And it does, um, it does. Um, I'm going to take someone else's words and use them here. The uh, guy who wrote this book, How Magicians Think, his name is Joshua J. He runs a company called Vanishing Inc. He's one of the greatest magicians that, um, that is alive today. Um, so great that he's the youngest person to ever win the international magic, best magic, close-up magic competition. He won it 20 years ago. He was 17. He's a young guy. Um, and he wrote this book addressing questions that he gets from audience people who don't really know a whole lot about magic. He wrote uh, 52 chapters, like 52 cards in a deck. Um, one of the chapters 
I read this over Christmas break, by the way. It says, does magic look different in other countries? So I just want, I want to read a little bit to you because this is, this show is also an opportunity to educate a little bit. And I, I think it's a great idea to, to cover international, international magic. So Joshua J. When I was 17, I did a nine month lecture tour around the world. I saw 23 countries on that tour, but it was the magic that I saw in those countries that I'll never forget. I understand how this might sound, but here goes. In Japan, the magic looked totally different from magic in Argentina. The way people shuffled cards in China, for example, was different from how they shuffled cards in Australia. Audiences in the United Kingdom responded to my work in a totally different way than in Morocco. Uh, in France, the magic fed into popular impressions of French culture, fancy shuffles, and ornate multi-phased effects. In Argentina, the magicians were suave, fooling you in slow motion. Um, most magicians would agree that Spain is now the epicenter of the magic world, boasting perhaps the most distinguished magician alive, Juan Tamirez. Uh, Spain, Spain is sprinkled with magic dinner theaters and bars, and largely thanks to Juan's influence and openness with his disciples, there is a national understanding of card magic. Spanish audiences get the subtle differences between one card magician and another because they have grown up watching close-up magic on television. In the United States, a vast majority of the public has existed on a limited diet of fantastical stunt-based magicians like David Blaine, and we are unused to any other flavor. But in Spain, magic is as much a part of life as concerts or comedy. In Japan, magic was topical in nature. It was much less about the magician and more about a fascinating prop or the impossible way a paper could be folded. Japanese magicians were often introverted doing astounding tricks without theatrics or bravado. It was spare and lovely. So with that said, uh, I, what I want to do is, is kind of um, uh, like hone in I, I, this particular notion that whereas in most countries, the magician showmanship, storytelling ability and persona is every bit as important as the magic trick, if not thought of as more important. Uh, in Japan, magicians get out of the way and put the focus on the magic trick itself, the prop or the device on the table. That's the, that's the thing. And that's the kind of magic we're going to do together today, if I can get out of the way of it, which I don't know if I can. Um, and so that's one point. The second is, I want to put a particular focus on a company called Tenyo, which is from Japan, and the magic that this company has been releasing to the public since 1970. They're this kind of mysterious Willy Wonka of magic. They have this team of in-house inventors, though sometimes they outsource to brilliant magic creators that don't live in Japan. Tenyo's tricks, Tenyo's tricks are always innovative and compelling and compact props. They are often made of the most beautifully thick cut plastics that are rugged, attractive, and lasting, and that have completely diabolical secrets living inside of them. Some of these ideas are utterly original. Others are miniaturized versions of grand stage illusions that now fit into your hand. I get uh, kind of a kick out of collecting it, but I will never be as much of a collector as some people who need all of them. And it's a very, very crazy thing when they hit the market and you find out that these things are worth hundreds and hundreds of dollars a year or two later. It's, it's they don't re-release them. It's once they release these four to six magic tricks in the fall, they never release them again. So people collect them. So uh, yeah, the collector's market Virginia, is scary. Um, here's so what some of these boxes look like. They 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 always come in these kind of boxes. They look like this. Okay. Uh, or this, something like this. I'm showing you a couple, well, I'm not gonna do that one. I'm showing you a couple that maybe I'll do. Um, and um, yeah, okay. Let's get down to some magic now. Are you guys ready? You guys see this? This is really fantastic. This trick is called card surgery, okay? Uh, so you got these, this quadrant, these four quadrants of a seven of hearts, okay? And all we wanna do is just heal this card. So I don't know why it's called card surgery. It's really about, let's reunify these pieces. Are you guys ready? Watch yeah. this. Okay, watch this. I'm gonna rub my hand 
like so and just lift my hand and look at that. What? Yeah, isn't that crazy? Now let's let's do something similar right here. Let's get this guy right about there. I'm gonna come in like this and we're gonna also just kind of rub that and we should be good. You see that? Yeah. Check that out. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. That's Look cool. That. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, yeah. Look at this. It's, uh, it's this, uh, thing where I was telling you, I was kind of explaining that there's this, um, brand illusion aspect to what 10 year can do sometimes where they put these, like, they put these, uh, things that really look like larger stage illusions, but miniaturize them, put them in your hand. Right. And, um, I'll show you what we're going to do with it. I'm going to take this coin. It's a yen. There's a hole that goes right through it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm set that down right here. Um, and I'm going to take this star. Okay. Be clear, right there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to set that right there. Hope you guys can see it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Now, what's exciting here is that they hand you a sword. Um, this is the first of many swords I'll show you tonight. There are lots of dangerous objects that I could cut or poke my fingers with. Um, one of those nice things that. Kenyo offers its uh, fans danger, little tiny cute danger. Okay, so um, hard to see this. There's a bit of shininess here. Oh yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Okay, that's that's okay. Perfect. Now the uh, the sword is going all the way through the bottom, and I'm not going to let it move. Watch very carefully. Do not blink. One, two, three. I better move that. Oh over yeah. You see that? Right. Hmm. They have swapped places, and I did not at all move that sword. Get in closer. Woo woo! No, you, might, you might ask yourself, how? How is this possible? Magic? Yes, magic. Oh. That's how it's done. Um, you know, earlier there was a. The thing I said it wasn't all that long ago. I said something about it being a, a company that releases lots of dangerous things that can cut your fingers and poke your fingers. Mm -hmm. I was going to mention that one of these boxes, they gave me a guillotine. So another large stage illusion that's miniaturized. Um, I don't particularly uh, care for it because I don't understand how it's a magic trick so much as so much as I feel like it's more of like just the thing that will cut my finger off. I don't know why they would hand this to people like me or children. Um, so. Cut we'll a cigar with it? <laughs> you could cut a cigar with it. Mm. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Well, here, I'll show you the, um, this guy is rock. I mean, it's solid. I wouldn't say it's rock solid, but it's solid. <laughs> oh, solid is it? It's very, very solid, Cheyenne. Okay. And it's shiny. And it's shiny. Okay, right there. Now you can see that it is rock solid. Okay. Okay. Great. Now watch, 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 watch. I could cut a cigar with it, or I could cut my finger off with it which I'm going to do now in front of you guys. I love you guys. I'm sorry that I have to do this, but the Tenio show. Here we go. One, two, three, and, and then my oh. finger, and then my finger falls off. Oh, so, your finger's wait. still, oh. There's a reflection of me right there. Oh, cool. Um, so there you go. I mean, that is, that's cool engineering. Are your fingers gone? My finger isn't gone, but I will tell you something. This is why uh, no one has been executed with a guillotine in Japan, is my guess. Yeah. It's, it's not the right way to do it there. It's a French yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. It is a French thing. Yeah. It's fine. You know, give each country their own way of executing people. Um, just kidding. Just kidding. Um, okay. Moving on. Um, I want to show you guys something. Very, very useful. The uh, Tenyo 
uh, came up with this really fantastic um, uh, credit card that, uh, yeah, they, they went into banking, okay? And uh, it's this card. Now, you know, with your normal um, bank card, your, you know, your debit card or whatever, you, you got a credit union, a bank, whatever, you you can pull money out of this, right? By putting, yeah. by putting it into an ATM and then pulling the money out. Well, this is different. You you can pull money, you can pull money out of the card. Hmm. You pull money out of the card. I like to do that. Any trick where I can put my eyeball and just pull. <laughs> and we'll do it. So I'll show you right now. I'm gonna take these tweezers and I'm just gonna again look. Hey, oh okay, watch this very carefully. And watch this very carefully. I'll come up close to you. Watch. Hmm. That, yes. came from the hole? that came it came out of the hole and and there it is. And there it is right there. Eden has a question. What's that? Eden, go ahead. What's your question? Can you pull dollars out of it? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. We'll let me, can I try, let me, let me see if I can pull another quarter out of there. If I can pull a dollar out, I will try, okay? Let me try this again, okay? Watch very carefully. It is an incredible invention. It's a tedious way to get rich, but if I can do what you're asking, Eden, then, I mean, I could really like maximize my time better if I could just pull dollar bills out. So. Why don't we try that, okay? Uh, all we gotta do is get rid of this quarter, okay? We don't need this quarter. That in my pocket, okay? Here we go, for you. Eden, if I can do this, I think I'm onto something. You ready? I'm just gonna stay home and do this all day. One, two, three. Ah! Eden. Holy smokes. Look at this. Okay, here. I'm one dollar, I'm one dollar richer. So, I'm, thanks for the idea. I think I know what I'm gonna do for the rest of the night after the show. Um, anyway, get yourself one of these totally, totally useful, really useful. Uh, super cool stuff. Okay, let's move on. Um, speaking of money, um, the thing I'm going to do right now um, is probably illegal. Uh -oh. I don't think you guys are going to tell on me. So, you guys, you see this tray? I already tried to tell on all that other stuff and like the cops <laughs> <that> gave me. <laughs> Well, that's for the best then, I guess. Uh, <laughs> look at this wonderful thing. <laughs> look at this. So these are quarters, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Delicious. Delicious. Yeah, I can I can just shut it. And but for the purpose of this trick, I feel strongly that um, I ought to I to just do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna now. Um, destroy your minds by destroying these quarters with these pencils like so. Okay? Like that. And this is also dangerous, like I said, because I could poke my finger. You see? This is the only theme I can think of running through all of this. It is really had to push a little extra hard on that last one. Yes, it did. It was something... Big quarter. Is the quarter. So this is the problem. I've defaced these quarters with Dixon Ticonderoga pencils. And uh, and uh, there we go, there we go. So, there it is. Wow. Hey. Yeah, isn't that great? Hey, those quarters don't have holes in them? Well. But I thought you just, I thought I could Whoa. see through it. You know, restoration is a big part of the magic trick. And I, I should put a little more emphasis on saying something like, let's fix this. And I didn't. 
So let me think of another one coming up where I can. That was good. That's good though. I mean, like that's. It's like, how did that happen? You don't know. Also, also, I just, I don't know, man. Just do the thing and hope it all turns out okay. Um, I've got something. Uh, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask uh, Cheyenne. Cheyenne, can you help me with this? I can. Okay, Cheyenne. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm really enjoying the magic. Good. Great, 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 great. Great. I have uh, with me, um, hopefully you can see. Uh, no, Chris, don't need them. Uh, uh, a whole bunch of pads, okay? All right. Mm-hmm. What I'm going to do is ask you to help me right now by telling me how many times you'd like for me to cut this deck of I would like you to touch the deck two times. Okay, two times. All right, here we go. And one, two. Okay. Here's another one. And two. Okay. Now, Shan, yeah. there is one card in this envelope. It is a duplicate from another deck. Okay. Okay, and that's all I'm going to tell you. One card in here. What I'm going to do now is draw down one card at a time and i want you to tell me when to stop okay yes okay here we go stop okay this is where my hand is yep okay i am this is the card that you had me stop at. Okay. Okay? Now, man, there is one card in this envelope. Okay, are you ready? I don't know if I'm ready. Here it is. What? It's the same card! It's the same card. Oh, now, man, man, it's a very empty envelope. Hmm. I don't understand. It's, How? it's magic. Now, um, I will tell you right now, that's that's the next card. You could have picked that. You could have picked that. You, on and on and on. Hmm. But no, you had to pick the three of diamonds, and it just happened to match the one in the envelope. So Maybe I'm magic. Maybe you're magic. I think you are magic. So I think that's a reasonable answer. Explanation. Um, okay. What have we forgotten? What are we doing? Um, this is the next thing we're going to do together. Um, I have this box. I'm going to open it. There is uh, something in here that is too dark to see here, so I'm putting this back. I, did I already put this up? I don't know. Mm-hmm. A really beautiful poster. Woo! Remake of a film I've never seen either film, but I know it's Dario Argento. It's very scary, and um, that has nothing to do with our magic trick show. Here we go, magic trick show. Um, I have a yellow uh, uh, thing. I have a black thing. These uh, these are um, I don't know what's rings. They're really hexagons though, not rings. Um, you, uh, you can see through them a little bit. There are holes in them. You guys see the holes in them? Yeah. Right? Okay. Now, what's really fun is that you can do this. And this is the whole fun of it. I'm going to put one of these in my hand. I'm going to put the other in my hand. And then David? Yes. I'm gonna ask you to uh, pick either a black or a yellow. What do you prefer? Hmm, I like black. Okay, got it. I'm gonna pull out black. And so there it is. Now, how cool would this be, Dave, if I could take this and make it switch places with this? Yeah, that'd be, that'd be pretty wild. Try it. Okay, you ready? Watch this. Watch very carefully. Okay, gonna 
I'm gonna do the following. Here we go. Let's smash this down, because that's how you do the magic trick. Smash it down, and David, watch this. This didn't work, did it? Did I? <laughs> <laughs> that did not work. Okay. Okay. You, you know what? I have a theory as to why this happened. Very simple. I didn't hit the magic uh, sound. So let's. I okay. Have a wand. I got a magic try, sound. We're try it again with the sound effects. Okay. Yes. Great. You want <laughs> you want the black one, right? Okay. So yes. It's very simple. Okay. All right. Okay, David. We're gonna pull. We're gonna pull out the black one. Okay, that was fun though. And we're gonna keep the yellow one here. Mm -hmm. I was just showing you what that might look like before the switch. So here we go. Ready? Okay. Ready? One. Yes. David, what's this? Oh, you can already see it. Look. Oh. Where's the black one? Where's the yellow one? Yes. Oh. Yes, it worked. It did work. It's because it of the was the magic magic sound. Sound, yeah. Yeah. Now it's crazy, isn't it? Let's let's try it again. Try it again. I'll show you. Show you how this works. Um, I'm gonna pull out. You know what? I'm gonna pull out the black one again. Okay. Like so, and it's gonna look something like this. Watch this very carefully. Okay. Watch. 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 Uh, we're gonna go like this, and I'm just gonna. Go like this. Did you see that? Woo! Mm. There's that. Oh, fast. Oh, very fast. Now, um, you know, let's finish it in a, in a grand sort of way right now. Um, and that might look something like this. I'm gonna, I'm going to get my hands away from one another. I think that's the right way to do this. Okay. So here's, here's the black one. Let's put it in my hand and drop my hand down here. Okay. This hand has got the yellow one. This hand has the black one. And then I'm just going to push it through the, I'm going to exchange right through the table. Okay. Watch. Okay. Okay. I think, <laughs> I think we've done it. This one had the black one. This one had the yellow one. Now this one has the yellow one, and this one has the black one. Oh, yay. Okay. Yay. Very cool. This is cool. I can do that too. That, so. Running themes here. Things I can put my eyes through and things I can poke myself with, but never combine the two. Okay. Oh, and things that you can sever. Things I can sever. In fact, let's let's jump forward to the next trick. We're going to use Eden for this, and this trick involves severing things. No, no, no. This trick involves poking things. Okay. So, okay. So there will be a trick later involving severing, the severing of things. This is the sword we'll be using, of course, for this trick. Eden, are you ready? Are you so excited? Uh oh, Eden. I am so excited to share with you this uh, this magic trick. Are you ready? Are you ready, ready? Yeah. Okay. Like a lot of Tenyo tricks, there's a miniaturized thing happening here. So if you like tiny things, this is the trick for you. Watch this. So I'm going to show you all sides of this. It's a frame. It's got a box of uh, cards in the center. Now, I want to show you the top. There's a hole running through it. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna flip it around. There's a hole running through it, so you know. Mm -hmm. So you know, so you know. Okay, this is the box. We're gonna open it up, and uh, quite simply, inside you will find cards. Now, um, these are uh, these are card. Wait, you can't see them. You see yeah, these cards? Yeah, I've they're all them. they're all just ferociously adorable. <laughs> um, here's what we are gonna do. Eden, I'm going to show you this. It's going to look a bit like me taking the cards and just peeling them off like so. OK? Like this, just peeling them off. Mm -hmm. But I don't necessarily need to do that. 
face up. I'm just gonna, you tell me when to stop. Okay. That's the name of the game. Okay, I'm just gonna start doing this. You tell me when to stop. I can even just take chunks of these cards and put them in the pile. All right, anytime you want me to stop, you just let me know. Stop. Right here? Okay, Eden, this is the card that you had me stop at, and it is, what is it? Six of hearts. Six of hearts. Six of hearts. It's a nice card. Let's put it right on top of this pile. And then we're going to put the rest of these cards on top of the pile as well and not have it drop. And then we're going to put the cards back into the box. Okay. Here we go. Easy peasy. Back into the box. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put the uh, frame right onto the, the box, which is, it's really, it's like ripping the box. Come on, man. Your hands are too big. My hands are too big. Now, Eden, the, um, the box is has these holes for a reason. Remember that I showed you that? The, the top yeah. and the bottom of the box? Well, that's what the sword is for. And what I'm gonna do right now, demonstrate, uh, think of it as a, a King Arthur in reverse, okay? This is uh, Excalibur, and I'm the future king of England. Me, no, uh, here we go, ready, watch this. Here we go, one, two, three. Ah. Right through. Right through the deck. Right through the deck, right through the center of the deck, okay? If you think that that was easy, you are wrong. See? I struggled. You're so strong. What's that? You're so strong. Thank you. I'm brave. Thank you. <laughs> Very brave. That's why you're my girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and because I do magic, I do magic shows. Um, as well. Um, okay. So check this out. Eden, I want to share the following with you. Ready? You saw me plunge a sword through this deck of cards, right? And yet, these cards are unscathed. I, I hope that's pretty clear. Okay. And, and yet, a third yet, I, yeah. get, I get the feeling if I search long enough, maybe somewhere, maybe somewhere towards the middle, Oh, I'm right. What? I'm right. There's this one card that has a hole through it. Now, Eden, 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 check this out. I'm gonna set these down. Let's take that sword and I go like this. And watch this. <gasps> Eden. Are your card? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wicked. <laughs> Wicked. Whoa. Excelsior. There you go. That's Bye. it. Yeah. Hey. Um, hey, listen, uh, this is the next part of the show. Um, and Cheyenne, I'd love to, to use you. Go for, for it. Let's this do trick. it. Okay. Okay. Um, Cheyenne, uh, so you went to college, right? I sure did. And you majored in ichthyology, right? In theology? No, ichthyology. Ichthyology. Yeah, that was definitely my major. Yes. So Wait, you, that? that's the study of insects. Ah, uh -huh. gotcha. Um, what college did you go to for that? Um, Colorado State. Colorado State. Yeah. And Cheyenne... <laughs> Yeah. Um, I'm glad you wore that sweater. <laughs> that worked out really well. This is, what would you say that this is? Um, oh, it's really I, good. It's kind of hard to see it. Ichthyologist. I can say this is some sort of a specimen box. Specimen box. Yes. And that's, that's correct. Now I'll open it and uh, you can take a little bit of a closer look. This is in fact something you might want to pin uh, some trophy insect 
uh, to and show all your friends or put behind a glass in a cabinet at uh, your laboratory. Um, and um, yeah, I don't know where you put all of your... In, definitely in my laboratory. In laboratory, <laughs> yeah. Um, now, Cheyenne, I have these cards, okay? In, on these cards, you're gonna find... Well, you tell me what you see. It seems to be some type of butterflies. That's right. We got red, we have blue, yellow, and green. The four major types. I think it's just general butterfly. Yeah. There are an uncount, uncountable amount of butterfly species in the world, but these are just butterfly. Mm -hmm. I need you to do the following for me, Cheyenne. I'm gonna, I'm gonna peel down cards. They're not gonna peel any cards down. I'm gonna shuffle them. I'm sorry, forgive me. And so you're gonna tell me, if you could, when to stop. Okay? Yeah. It's gonna go like I this. Love, I love to tell you when to stop. Just tell me when to stop. Stop. Okay, here? Yeah. I don't know, I don't know, is that is that fine? Yeah. Okay, so Cheyenne, what do we got? The a blue, a blue, blue butterfly. Well, that's lovely. Cheyenne, um, I'm gonna ask for you to now observe the following box. I'm observing it. Kind of, look, I can put my eye through it. Whoa. Now this thing is empty, right? Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead Not and just so long, though. shut the box. <laughs> Which is a game we've never played. Uh, Cheyenne tells me there's a game called Shut the Box. It's a good game. I wanna play it oh. someday. Look. Oh wait, no, you know what? This is fine. I know you can't really see this very well, but I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is put this box over the top of this. Okay. okay? And it's gonna be like this. Something like this. Okay? And magic sound. What? An actual butterfly. Nice. Like a living butterfly. It's oh, somebody. dang, if you can make that thing actually fly, that'd be amazing. <laughs> I'll work on it. I'll work on it. I'll work on it. Um, and that's for that's you. really cool. That's for you. Yeah, it's, I think it is. Beautiful. I think it is beautiful. And it once lived a happy life before all of this happened. Before the accident. Before the accident. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> and that's very sad. Um, okay, so listen. Uh, tragic magic. What's that? Tragic magic. Tragic magic. <laughs> um, I have this. I have this thing um, that you know. Where I was telling you how there's all kinds of things that might cut my hands off. Not my hands. Yes. Off, my fingers. Okay. No. Well, cut it off. This cut is no, it off. This is no exception. Uh, <laughs> One of the most dangerous toys that I have, and I will not let my daughter near it. I'm smart, um, but uh, I will let myself near it in front of all of you. Watch what I can do with this. Take pen, any pen is fine. Uh, in the bottom of this thing, you're gonna see a hole, okay? Mm -hmm. And we're gonna take a pen, we're gonna take a Sharpie, and we're gonna just like go like this, up through the top, okay? And here we go. I think the best thing I can do here. Okay, here's, mm, did I open that? <laughs> I don't know if I did. Uh, look, so I've got these scissors and it's very, very simple. You can go like this and you can cut the pen like so and watch this. You're gonna have that be open, of course. And Feast oh. your eyes on an illusion that will haunt you and you let's let's really haunt you. Uh, let's put the thing back together and pull that thing out and I'm gonna put my finger through it. Very simple. Oh. I do this because I'm an entertainer. I don't know which finger to use. Okay. Now, I know you guys don't think I'm really gonna cut my finger off, but I am. So here's dot I'm putting on my finger. Did Edith run away because this is frightening? 
or because no, it's she ran away because uh, incredibly boring. Anastasia just got home. Oh, okay. Um, either way, either way, uh, I'm gonna cut my finger off. So it's it's like this, and it doesn't even hurt because yeah. it it instantly cauterized and I went into shock. So here we go. And oh, there no. it is. There it is. Oh. They said it couldn't be done. You did say that. A clean cut. I'm here to tell you it can be done. So, yeah. Look at, Rob, look at Rob, Robin did to his finger. Did he put the mark on? I did. No, he, did. he put it on. No. Yeah, if you put his finger through, he put the mark on, yeah. Look, look at this. Look at that. Hi, hi Anastasia. Hi. I, this is a weird way to wave to you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to tell you. other hand. Which finger I'm using. Um, oh, that, yeah, there you go. And watch, let's put it back. Because we can't live like this. Woo! Oh. That was so stressful. Did you say you wanted me to do it to my other finger? No, she wanted you to wave with your other hand. Oh, yeah, I can do that all. <laughs> <laughs> I can it's do that so all. practical. Day. <laughs> um, hey, Anastasia, I got a trick for you. Oh, okay. Are you, would you be interested? Yes. Okay, 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 okay. That is good. Um, okay, it's very simple. Um, I have this specimen box that has a, a blue butterfly in it. Oh, yeah. You see that? Mm -hmm. Now, um, I have this thing as well, right? Oh, yeah. It's empty, okay? And then I've got these cards, right? Um, what I'm gonna uh, do is is um, show you these these cards, and we got a green, we got a red, we have a blue, we have a yellow mm -hmm. sort of thing. And um, now Cheyenne, uh, Cheyenne, Anastasia, sorry, uh, I'd love it if you would basically help me. the same person. <laughs> <laughs> I love it if you could tell me uh, tell me when to stop. Um, yeah. Okay, you ready? Yep. I'm gonna just do this for a little bit. Like so. Stop. Right here? Yeah. Okay, great. So this is the card. Yes, I wanted the yellow. Oh, you sorry. did? I'm, your enthusiasm is very, very meaningful to me. I wanna show you this. Check this out. We have a blue butterfly, right? Yeah. Okay, watch this, watch this. Check this out. Ready? Okay. Now. Wait. <laughs> no way. Yes. What? No. It's a miracle. And this yeah. one is also formerly alive. Amazing. I'm uh, quite deceased. Correction. This is made out of some kind of see through plastic. Yes. <laughs> that, that makes sense. Yeah. Easy, <laughs> easy to confuse. Both of them, I, can't, I couldn't really see the antennas. Mm. I don't see any antennas on them. Oh, you know, they forgot to, I think it would have been hard to cut out yeah. uh, the yeah. plastic. So that's why. That's why. <laughs> it's um, very observant. Yes. It's, yeah. it's um, maybe a future ecologist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 She might have to go to Colorado State. Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> Their ichthyology program. It's very famous. Does Colorado um, State University sponsor this magic trip? Uh huh. Yes. <laughs> yes they did. Butterfly. Um. Hey, David. Yeah. I think you're up, man. Okay. Um. Okay. So check it. Uh. I got. Um. First of all, I'm going to show you. Uh, got a regular old deck of cards, mm -hmm. and, you know, and um, here's a uh, here's kind of what they look like. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I don't know, you know. You see? I hope that's clear. Yeah. Yeah. No. Cardtastic. <laughs> yeah. Very clear. Right. Okay. Very oh yeah, clear. yeah. It's very clear. Very clear. Okay. So. <laughs> Um, now, David, I would very much like for you to tell me where to stop. I'm just gonna riffle these out, and then you, you kind of, I don't know, I, 
maybe do one of these. I'm gonna run my finger yeah, yeah. across it. You just tell me where to stop. Stop. Okay, here? Yeah, okay. Right, would well, you want to- That works great. Ace. ace of spades? Yeah, ace of spades, that's perfect. Okay, okay. cool. Um, okay, so let's just make this a little bit even. Um, I'm gonna stick it right next to the, uh, the other ace there. Okay, now, David, I'm glad that you picked the ace of spades because um, it is, it's, it has a picture on it. Mm -hmm. and it's gonna make this trick a lot easier for you because I, what I need you to do is, I need you to just stare at it for a little while. And the, and the whole deal is, if I can get uh, my computer camera to focus, because that does make this a little ironic. Get that dot out of my, out of my way. Okay, do you see? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Now, generally understood that our brain peripherally kind of fades things out. I mean, our, our center of focus is a pretty narrow uh, uh, in our field of vision. The, the, the area that we can focus on is pretty narrow is what I'm saying. So the point is the longer that you stare at this, the more out of focus everything around it will become, okay? That's a principle you understand. That's a principle I understand. Okay, have you looked at it long enough? Yeah, I think so. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. Now, okay, watch David. Here's here's an example. The long, since you were looking at it and it's still in your head, I'm gonna ask you if this card is, if there's something wrong with this card. Does this card look blurry to you? It does look blurry. Yeah, the numbers look blurry, especially. I agree. Now, let's take a look. Well, I would say that everything yeah. looks a little blurry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep, everything's looking really bad. Um, this Joker, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to the Joker. I think we'll use her later to help us solve this. But as everything is blurry. Let's not forget that you spent a bit of time focusing on one card. I want you to just sort of spend a little bit of time, focus on that a little longer. And yeah, are we good? Yeah. Okay. Everything's good? Okay. So check it. Um, now, I think what we're going to have to do is use this this blurry card mm -hmm. to help us get out of this mess. And what I'm gonna do is just do this, something like this, and drop it on the floor. And I don't know, it hit the floor. It became in focus again, I don't know. Something like that. Mm. Yeah, I don't know, yeah. So David, uh, hopefully everything is now much more oh, yeah, I can read them again. Yeah, it's all manageable. I can cancel the eye doctor appointment. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad. It got too scary. It got kind of scary. Now, Cheyenne, when you went to Colorado University, you minored in optometry, right? Definitely. Yep. Did you say Dave's doing okay? Uh, well, for a moment there, I was a little worried about it, but yeah. Back on track. I was worried, I was worried too, it all worked out. You guys, uh, I'm gonna show you one of the genius things about Tenya right now. Uh, they make uh, they make stuff like this. Genius. That are so perplexing and incredible. Wow. I love this trick so much. I'm gonna show you right now, it's called Crystal Cleaver. This uh, is a ring inside of a box that's on a base. I'm gonna set the base down right here. I'll show you the ring, and I want you to take a very good look at it. I want you to know that the ring is solid. There is no, um, there are no cuts or slits in this metal. And it is metal, okay? It's not a great ring, but it's metal, it's solid. I'm gonna shut the box. I'm also gonna show you the following. It is a container, and I'm gonna put it on top and once again, try not to cut my fingers with a sword that they have provided. So here we go, watch this very carefully. 
I'm gonna run a sword. I shouldn't tell you what I'm gonna do. Here, watch. Ready? Mm-hmm. Watch. What? Oh, that went through? What? I'm saying, man. Look at that. It went right through the top, but there's no there's no way that it could go through the top. And I'm gonna open this up and bring this out. It went right through the ring as well. Whoa. What? Yeah, that one's a puzzler. I love it. I love it. There you go. Yeah. Bravo. Bravo. Yes, indeed. There's, um, we've got three more guys and then we're going to call it, um, uh, this one is just a lot of fun. It's really, really freaky. I'm going to use my phone and, uh, here we go. Let's see. Well, basically, the thing I'm going to do is impossible and um, troubling. You guys ready? Yeah. Okay, check out this impossible and troubling thing. Here we go. Oh, what? No. Whoa. I just pulled that through my phone. And uh, I promise you, this is my phone. I see that. Yeah. Um, you guys, uh, I've got a trick. Anastasia, would you help me with this one? Sure. Oh, this is a fun one. Good. Okay. Anastasia, this is a mini plunger. This, uh, it's a functional plunger that, though, there's no way for me to test it. I'm just certain that it is because without I mean, it just works. Like I can stick it to my forehead. That's so if I can yeah. stick it to my forehead. It's just like a real plunger. <laughs> I have something important. Do you have a little toilet? <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> I think it's just the right size. It is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you guys, you, you guys really ought to get together. Wait. Yeah, it's almost, if we live Like you guys together. are made for each other. <laughs> <laughs> can, you, can you run that over right now? <laughs> Tiny toilet delivery. <laughs> God, look at this. Hey, Robin, Eden's got something to show you. Do you have a little toilet, too? <laughs> this is a very funny conversation. <laughs> wow, you have a really great little toilet. Look at this. So... It not only, look, it's got the part, <laughs> it's, look at that. Yeah. Oh, wow. So it's exactly the right size. Oh, no way. So <laughs> I could honestly, you know, it's perfect. And even I guess, I bet this is the right size for that as well. Now, <laughs> how this all relates to card magic is really unexpected, but, um, <laughs> it does relate to card magic, and I'll show you. This This is how it relates to card magic. You can take this thing, and you can pick up cards. In fact, you can you can do this sort of thing, where you go like this, you go, hey, I want all four like this, okay? <laughs> do that. You can do more than that, though. You can actually you get real specific. Now, so what I'm gonna ask for you to do for me is just, Let's find a card for you, okay? Okay. Like somewhere in the middle. Uh, that one. Wait. Uh, here? Go back to where you started. Wait, here? Yes. This one? Yep. Fantastic. So, Anastasia, this is the card that you have chosen. I'm not, mm -hmm. I didn't really look at it. It looks like I looked at it, but I didn't. Well, I looked at it. I'm glad. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad. So, okay, Anastasia, mm -hmm. watch. Don't want this to go wrong, you know? Like, don't want it to fail entirely. So, you have to have a big finish. You know, it's something like this. Find Anastasia's card. Do you remember what the card was? Yep. Okay. Was it this one? Yay! 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 
Okay. That's pretty cool. I'm yeah. glad something worked out. Um, thank you, Tiny Plunger. Uh, Tiny Plunger has an identity crisis. So, kind of <laughs> torn between worlds. Um, I've got one last one last trick, and I I'm gonna um, ask Eden to help me. Oh, Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eden, you down? Um, I have a bag. You can put lunch in this. I don't put lunch in this. I put a deck of cards and a rope. Normal normal things that go inside a bag. Uh, something like this, and then yeah. Okay, I'm gonna grab this deck, open it up, show you a few things. Number one, uh, you tell me where to stop, okay? Stop. Here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, again, I can, can you see my eyes? They're closed. They're closed. Do you see this? Yep. 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 Okay, all right. Here's what we're going to do. I'm gonna, well, here's the card. I'm going to shuffle it into the deck. Oh. I saw it. I saw the card. It, you know what? It don't matter. It just simply doesn't matter at all. I'm going to shuffle it into the deck. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's going to look something like this. And I'll put another. And then let's just get rid of it like this. Into the bag. Into the bag. Okay. Now I bet you guys are wondering what the rope is about. What is that rope about? The rope is about doing one of these kinds of things. So it's going to be something like this, where I drop it into the bag, like so. And then we're going to pick up the bag, and we're going to shake it like this. Get that thing really mixed up, and then eat them just for you. The last miracle of the evening. Yeah. Oh, was that your card? I hope so. Was I mean, your card? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay. That was it. That was Woo! It. Okay. And there you go. Yay! Yay! Hey. Um, all right, you guys, I really appreciate that you came. Uh, huge mix up with the link that I gave people. And so it got confusing, but I'm glad that we were here together. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the spotlight here. And thanks for the magic show. Cool. Cool. Excellent job. I caught Thank the end of it both times. What's that? I caught the end of it oh, both times. I'm glad, I'm glad. Me too. Um, yeah, um, that's the world of Tenyo and, and a little bit of a, uh, exposure to just that. All of mm -hmm. these tips are, were manufactured by this Japanese company. And that's really what I wanted to, uh, yeah, put a spotlight on. So, cool. you know, it's really an interesting thing. If you ever want to look it up on YouTube or something, there's, um, so many tricks and so many demonstrations, they're all wacky and wonderful. And again, it's a company that's existed for, yeah. well, since 1970, so 50 plus years of consistently doing this year after year, mysteriously. There's not a whole lot of press. They just put out four or five tricks and then they go quiet for a year. That's wow. cool. That's really Crazy. interesting. Yeah. It's probably part of the mystique makes it so collectible, you know, and then they never right. repeat anything. So, um, cool. um, anyway, to give you some real winners. Okay. <laughs> I am so pleased with Cheyenne's tiny toilet. I can't even tell you. Well, really? And so then Eden has her own tiny toilet, <laughs> and then we've had a meeting of the tiny toilets. <laughs> Stole the show, really. Thank yeah. you, tiny toilet. Oh. <laughs> wow. Well, um, you oh, no. oh, no. What happened? David has a, a trick. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Oh, my. God. <laughs> I need to punch that. <laughs> That's a blind <laughs> Or I need to. I think you need to pull it down and set it back. Yes. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. Push it down. 
<laughs> Not up. Yeah. <laughs> um, you guys are so wonderful. Thank you very much. Um, you're always here. It's really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. So thank you. Yeah. Next month, thank you. Is a birthday party. Uh, Lydia's birthday is on February 12th. Oh, oh nice. will she be around? She, I'm hoping, can be a part. Oh, that'd be awesome. Oh, I just gotta yeah. make it possible. The, um, if not, she'll certainly see it. And um, what's the other thought? Um, I had another thought about it. Oh yeah, oh, I wanted to tell you guys, uh, our parenting schedule is a little bit different. And mm -hmm. so next month through, I'm only doing 12 of them. I mean, I'm gonna go through the summer, but and stop probably. Yes, that's what it's stop. Um, uh, starting next month, it won't be on the first Friday and Tuesday necessarily. Oh, oh okay. okay. It, in fact, next month is going to be the second. Uh, I'll, 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 you know, I can just send you a schedule. Second, second Friday and Tuesday. Is that? Yeah. You're saying, okay. I don't really have it with me, but um, yeah. I, so her birthday's on the 12th. I think it's on the 13th. Okay. <laughs> Well, Eden wanted... No, no, the day before, the 11th. That sounds great. Yeah. Eden wanted to um, let you know that she had a birthday recently. She had a birthday too? Mm -hmm. Recently, yeah. How was your birthday, Eden? Did you go ice skating? Yeah. I think I knew about this. And was it awesome? Yeah. Do you know what? how old she is? I'm going to guess that Eden has just turned 10. Yay! Yes. How old Lydia going to be? She's 11 now, but we'll be turning 12. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. You know, 10 is so, 10 is so wonderful. 10 is a very interesting age. Yeah. Double digit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. She's the tweenager now, she's telling us. <laughs> I love it. Wow. Know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have a birthday coming up, too. And you guys, you, when's your birthday again? Capricorns. Yeah. Jan yes, January 16th. 16th? Yeah, this Sunday. So, yeah. I need to remember this. And you guys just celebrated your wedding anniversary? 16 years. 16 years. Mm -hmm. 16, 16. You guys, congrats. 16, 16 years. Right? Yeah. You were there, man. I was there, man. <laughs> I wish I hadn't bombed on my speech. I, I'll always regret it. But uh, I, I loved you and love you now, and that's all I can I can say. It was it was a beautiful wedding, and I was just happy to be there. And, I so, have no regrets. Yeah. About your speech. Me oh. neither. I just remember the cool groomsmen photos. Those were fun. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah. Some very 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 fly. Phil <laughs> Phil playing Godfather songs on the accordion and right to walk down the aisle too. That was good.